Where do you expect to be a year from now? This time next year. I am going to start reading this book on the Monday after Palm Sunday because I'm already doing a fast with Gregory Dickow called Fast from Wrong Thinking. So this time next year, I am believing God for some big things, some mighty things, and I'm trusting God that he's going to do it. Why? Because he's God. Because the promises of God are yes and amen. And Jesus is our amen. That's what 2 Corinthians verses um, 20 says, 2 Corinthians 1 20, that he is our amen and that the promises of God are yes and amen. Well, he promised that, hey, he was coming back for us and he is. He promised that if we follow him, we will learn new things. Romans 12 says to renew your mind. Don't be conformed to this world. Trust the Lord with your life. He gave it to you. He sent his son and died for it. I was just telling someone today that, oh, will a man die for me? One already has. Does a man love me? Yes, he has me written in the palm of his hand. He's written my name in his little black book, the Lamb's Book of Life. You know, he's collected every tear that I've ever shed it. That when my heart was broken into pieces, he put it back together again. Trust the Lord. Why do I trust the Lord? Because when my marriage ended, he was there. When they told me I wouldn't have kids and God blessed me with two, I gave birth to two babies. Nothing is impossible with God. Like the woman with the issue of blood, what touched God that he felt her? He felt her. He turned around and said, who touched me? The disciples said, Lord, everybody's touching you. What do you mean? He said, no, somebody touched me with a purpose. He felt issue leave her body and she instantly believed she was healed and she knew it. She felt it. She knew it. But what kind of faith does this woman have that the Lord knew somebody touched him with a purpose and he didn't even have to see it. And he was walking in human flesh. And he says, greater work shall we do. Father, in the name of Jesus, because Jesus said that we should do greater work, God, grant it to us in the name of Jesus. Minister to us, touch us, Lord. When we feel down and low and feel like we can't get up, he is our strength. You raised Jesus from the dead, and your word says the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us, Lord. Bless us to bloom right now in the name of Jesus. Minister to us. Carry us, God. Carry us when we can't walk anymore. Or like how they say, the footprints in the sand. When we only see one set, it's the Lord carrying us. Well, God, we need you to carry us. Carry us right now in the name of Jesus. When we go on our jobs and people don't like us, Lord, when they're nasty and have horrible attitudes, bless us to be patient and know that you're still God and you're with us in the name of Jesus, Lord. When people get their little nasty attitudes and set in their ways, God, thank you that you're God and that you put it in us to bite our tongues, to be a blessing, a quiet blessing and walk away and pray and come back and the whole situation has changed. So God, we leave it all in your hands right now in the name of Jesus. Amen.